When I first met Jerry, I thought she was absolutely mad. She had on some mad outfit. I don't know if she's told you about when we first met, but it was for a Tank Girl audition. And, um, and I was queuing up, and everybody else had come in costume. They'd all come in ripped tights and kind of Mohican haircuts and everything, and I turned up in a suit. And I'm stood there with like all these punky looking people and I'm thinking, well, this is a bit this is a bit bizarre, do you know what I mean? And then then I've seen Jerry and Jerry came up and started talking to me. And at the time she had a low sugar level and there was like um there was a, I don't know, a stall there selling like hot dogs and candy floss and popcorn and stuff like that. And she actually went and stole some popcorn because she didn't have any money on her. And she's bought it back and she's eating the stolen popcorn with me. And I'm thinking, what is she doing? She's eating the stolen popcorn. I would never even dream of doing anything like that. And then she got caught and she got shouted at and I'm just stood there thinking, I really want some of that popcorn, but it's stolen property, so should I have any? Hi, I'm an age Victoria Adamswood. I'm 19. Um, I don't look at all right for this part, but I'm an actress. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jerry, like Tom and Jerry, but it's spelled differently. I'm a jack of all trades. I've got a quirky sense of humour. I've been chained down, down the gym. <laughs> I'll buy a And um, actress, presenter, and that's it. It's me. Melly Brown is a really bossy one, and so is Jerry. She sort of like tells us what we're doing every day and kind of gets the whip out and makes sure we work properly. Vicky, now I would say she's the older man's, you know, kind of date, I would say. She's sexy. She had sex appeal to the group, I would say. Jerry goes to the toilet with the door open. Come on, say it again. Well, it is if I wear clothes and I walk around the house and I shut the door and I have a wig, doesn't it? I don't like that. Because <laughs> everybody, we, they are that like, like open and that completely I, I have a lot of bathroom. And it's about two o'clock in the morning, and here we are inside the four seasons into the next floor. There we go, four. We get this budget to go and get some clothes, and do you know I end up getting a twenty-pound thing from Oxfam, and that's well, it. I don't she nicks all my money. Oh, I'm so I it. Think... from? Do you shut up? No, it's like you know. It's <laughs> 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 I'm wearing a very womanly dress. Um, this this is given to me as a present from Jerry at Christmas. It's a spice on it. It's a little candle holder, and, and it's got a candle in it. Little candle. Excellent. Thank candy. you very much oh. indeed. Hi, I'm Melanie B. Um, this is Melanie C. All right, this is Emma. Hiya, this is Jerry. Hello. And this, and this is Victoria. Victoria. She's a real lady. Until I came to Finland, I wasn't sure if Santa Claus was real, but now I know he is. So it's definitely real because I pulled his beard, so I know he's definitely very real. As you know, viewers, I am Jerry from Spice, but I am a suppressed VJ. And here we have, coming out of the lift, is Victoria Adams, and another mean... spicy girl. Once again, if we endeavor, love will bring us back together. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Obviously, we are very you know, serious about our lyrics and everything like that because we like putting messages in our songs. But when it comes down to like performing and things like that, we, <laughs> we try and have as much to laugh as we can. What's up with the rumour that you guys own your own clothing store? Is that true? <laughs> no, that's not true. No, where did that come from? God knows. Probably one of those I'll tell you the British Jerry. tabloids. Do you think Astrid... Yeah. And my mum does everything for me. You go, yes, but mum, you are my mother. You should know. You should understand. You are my mother. You should have got me some mullet lights and some satsumas when I come home at night. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they do take a lot. Don't yeah, they? definitely. Yeah, George Clooney is a man. man. Do you think oh, so? Okay. He's a um, man. You know, we're all friends. Have you noticed how Jerry's sitting here picking my toenails? I, I want to say it's a really intimate thing. Yeah. Have you seen if you've I been want to do a lot to Colin Jackson. Jackson. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm picking Hello, Colin yeah. Jackson. We like monkeys. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fashion wise the only the only thing that I can dish the dirt is Jerry wears really silly shoes mm. really really platform high shoes and and she often falls over in them do you ever borrow so, her shoes no no I couldn't I do like them they look good on her but I look a bit silly in them and I definitely couldn't stand up in them my best mate keeps on telling me that she keeps having loads of sexy dreams about me and oh, I also think she fancies me right <laughs> so I don't know what to do well, do you, do you want to have a bit of a dabble in that area? No, nah, I've got my boyfriend. Well, then tell her. Just but, say, look, you know, stop are, it. It could be quite harmless as well. I mean, lots of people have fantasies I mean, about the same sex. Do you know what I mean? I've had... Do everyone I mean, how many of you have? Have you, like, tossed no, your no, no, crumpet no, on can board? Can I just so? say, Jerry yeah. did actually tell me the other day that she fancied me, and I went, oh, thanks, Yeah, I'd say, if I was a bloke, I'd find, you know, Victoria very fanciable. Do you know what I mean? Go on, then, That's the highest compliment you could ever get. Fame is very fickle. You know, the light might shine on us today, but it might not tomorrow. Elvis Presley is famous. You need to serve your I know, she's, I know. She's this is Sweetie. She's stroking them. Yes. 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 We have yes. got hairy legs. This is, a, this is where we show how international we are. <laughs> Jerry has got hairy legs. <laughs> hairy armpits, but they are. Armpits, no, just hairy legs. Showing us. Well, I don't mind, I'm not perfect. Victoria and I are sort of the opposites. Um, like she's she's always go for the up to date version of something, and I'll go to Camden Market and get the original. It's like our car is the classic. When we first got our first big paycheck, she went and bought the MG, B the the latest, you know, for whatever X amount of money, and I went and bought a 1967, you know, Roadster bit MG. Do you know what I mean? The old version. I'm sort of like the um, the old. Um, second-hand freaky version of Victoria, really. You know, so it's really mad. You know, I think I like also. I love second-hand markets and getting originals like Mary Quant and things like that. Jerry does a lot of shopping. You know, even now in second-hand shops, and she gets some absolutely brilliant stuff. She really does because she's really good at rummaging through and you know finding good bargains. And she really does get some good stuff. But I haven't got the patience to do that. The Americans definitely got our priority this year. How can I be sorry when the... she's stripping <laughs> this poor man? Look. As we're you, here now, as you anyway. see. What more do you want? We're here now. <laughs> right, OK, my well, final okay. question is, you know, who's your favourite designer, Jack? And can you please sum up your overall image? Yes, darling. My favourite? What now, yeah. what pants have you got on, do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. There's nothing wrong improving yourself, is there, Victoria? No, absolutely nothing wrong. So what else. are you going to do? Jerry's going to give me an elocution lesson. And how now, brown car? And then you wiggle. You've got to have a hot. We'll probably look back on this and go, oh, come on. No, no I didn't. She's far too posh to pr kiss the prince. He tried, and I said, hang on a minute. When you look back over the last year, are you surprised at how big this whole um, spicy phenomenon's become? I think the best thing is. Yes. <laughs> it, is, it is shocking. It is quite amazing, but shocking. But, um, you know, well, we sort of wrote those songs. You know, everything that's given out is from us. So when people like it, that's, that's, that feels really good. She did all that without taking a break. There's so much that's happened to us, so many major events. You know, that's not important. We think about, you know, receiving two Brit Awards. I mean, meeting <laughs> Prince Charles and having the opportunity to squeeze and his then bum. Cans, exactly. Right? Like that is the thing that you remember. I wish I'd squeezed these bars. I cut the head. What an opportunity. <laughs> Jerry was the one that organised what characters we should be. Yeah, look at, oh, oh, and look at Jerry. And it looks. <laughs> 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 yeah, you get Gumbo Award when Gumbo you get Gumbo Awards. No, you do. Who's got most Gumbo Awards? Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> Melanie, Melanie, Melanie. 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 Shiggy, shiggy, shiggy! Hacker! Shiggy, shiggy, shiggy! Hacker! 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 Hacker!
No, they're, they're all completely different. Oh, you think types it's thematic them. there? No, they are though. I mean, like, Richard, Richard E. Grant was fantastic. We really had a laugh with him. He was a really nice person. You know, when we was acting, you know, the times it sort of, you know, he gave us tips and. He yeah, does he, rub onto yeah, you, doesn't he? Does I think what happened with us as well, you know, I, as we got into the movie, you know, maybe our acting got better. Although we are being ourselves. So basically, the first scene is really ropey. <laughs> <laughs> We ended up in a couple of them. One thing about our movie um, is that we had a massive input on it. You know, we were in with the script and the ideas, you know, all the storylines, even the dialogue, the scripts, the costumes, the casting. the casting. You know, I said, Brad, I'm sorry, Mr. Pitt, yeah, Brad Pitt you're not good enough. In it. Get out. He wanted to be in it. We had to say that, Brad. Get real. This is no. a Spice Girls No. 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 Just stop thinking about it. Everybody that took part in that movie was, you know, we had a massive casting list, okay, but then finally, what, you know, who we, we had to picked. Be realistic, yeah, realistic. We? But everyone we picked is very appropriate and just yeah. does the, the part justice. I, I mean, Victoria Adams just blows them away. And so yeah, we had injections all yesterday. I was the only one that didn't scream. I stopped going, see ya. Yeah, but you really painful. Mine's He did. You've been in your boobie there. <laughs> have you been able to view any of this back yet? See what your acting was. Yes, like? we have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you know? Can I just say? Can I? We've been, like, we've been, we've we've been asked all day, you know, by our makeup artists and hairdressers. Yeah. Have you seen any of the film? And we've been told, you know, you haven't seen any of the film. So we've yes. been saying, no, no, we haven't seen it. And then yeah. Jerry says, yes, we have. Yeah. See, <laughs> see? Yeah. so we have seen the film, and we have seen the film. Right. Okay. And you like not what you see, Jerry, do you? Not yes. completely. Mm -hmm. yes, we like, don't know whether we've seen it or not. <laughs> we have. <laughs> don't know. Like. Once, right, it was really funny. The five of us, we went to play, when Wimbledon was on, we went to do this TV show to play tennis. And anyway, Victoria had the perfect outfit on. The rest of us looked, you know, like awful. And she was so bad at it. Got that tennis champion Melanie C against Melanie and scary. Okay, it's gonna be a great match. So, what do you think as an ex tennis player yourself, Virginia Wade? Well, you know, I think it takes a lot of stamina and a lot of uh, a lot of ambition, but I can see these girls have got it. And you know, as, as for double, this young man, partner, here, you know, if I don't okay, bad. okay, you were excellent. You, you won the tournament for us, definitely. Hello, everybody. I'm Victoria. Um, I'm in the middle with my age as well. <laughs> that yeah, immediately they can't use it. And I am, I'm posh five. I've got one of the seven dwarfs, so I've got dopey. You don't. Because I'm a bit dopey. Um, but also I've got, I've got some little teddy bears that I go around with them. Baby! Right, <laughs> we're learning. <laughs> Lucy, talk a lot about David. No! no it's just when you mention football, I don't want to know. I get oh, a beam up. Have you read that book, um, No One Gets Out of Here Alive? That's a good book. Yeah, that is Jim Morrison. Yeah. Jerry, just okay, do your question. On. Okay, my question is, school kids everywhere fantasise about Spice Girls. Who did you have a school boy crush on, school girl crush on? Okay, I, um, <coughs> you think? Oh, you don't have to think, that's obvious. Oh, George Michael, I, yes, all right. George Michael, I used to snog him. Oh, were you gutted then? <laughs> but he, yeah. But you got gutted now. I used to have posters and everything. <laughs> yeah. Little I did you know that all I want now is you. Jerry, can I just you. say that? You have to be really stupid to us. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. didn't. Oh, oh, I did. He heißen Jerry and my vier Freundin sind here. Very good, sehr, sehr cool. schön. Sehr schön, Freundin. Sie heißt Victoria. Hello, Jerry is there too. Oh, my God. Uh, it has done wonders for the British economy. It's done <laughs> wonders for, you know, generated jobs. So that's something really, really positive. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what we're about, positivity. We've broken a few brown boundaries, haven't we? You know, with breaking America and going into advertisement. You know, that's probably why. Jerry, you really should take a breath in a minute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting on one. She's going to heal over on us. <laughs> I'm free. Yeah, give me the money, mothers! Okay! Oh, the bitch, that's, the, <laughs> that's, that's the trailer, right? This is it. Okay, don't see the press movie, otherwise Posh gets it! And um, one time, I always looked like Calamity Jane, 
and um, it was quite a stressful day at Top of the Pops and I got locked in the toilet and so I was jammed in the toilet and the funny thing is I've got this obsession of leaving the toilet door open anyway normally when I'm on the toilet. I've walked in the loo and seen Jerry sat on the loo but <laughs> I've never actually got but yeah that's a habit of hers you see. It's a really stressful day and so I just made it onto stage just in time. So that was a bit of a nightmare. I thought, I, actually I don't even think it was rehearsed, I think it's a real thing. Jerry actually at some point wants to be called Marilyn. No, she actually we have to go, no Jerry, your name is Jerry. She walked out on her balcony in a no, dressing gown yeah. and waved to her fans yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I've got a question from Victoria. Victoria? Yeah? yeah. Oh, will you leave the group if, um, if you marry David Beckham? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to leave the group. These are my best friends. <laughs> no, no, they're my best friends. You're not leaving. We've got so much ahead of us, I'm really not leaving the group, no. No man I'm comes not. I think what was good, what was really, really, really good, good is that, you know, obviously sometimes, you know, we're only human, we do get a bit nervous on our pat. hands. You know, you do pat yourself a little bit. <laughs> and, tuck it up, uh, and the thing was, just before we went on stage, we had this group hug thing, and we all, you know, swear a bit and say, come we and see each like other. Madonna. Yeah, and I remember Victoria <laughs> said to me, oh, it doesn't matter if you, you know, go wrong, because, you know, in the day, you know, we got... Well, you are going to go I wrong, so let's not I say it doesn't here matter. I said, they're here to see your ginger hair and your mad costume. Doesn't yeah, matter if you get your dance routine wrong. <laughs> One of Jerry's strengths is standing up and speaking, do you know what I mean? And just because she's doing that and she's saying things that we've all discussed, everything, you know, we're very equal, us five. We all have our strengths and we know what they are, but we're very, very equal. Say that, yeah, every show is different anyway. You're right down there, Jerry. You're right. Yeah. Okay, and I think you're going to like it in Holland, because I think in Holland... I think we're obviously so busy with the tour at the moment. Yeah. You know, we want to um, make sure that that's done, and then we'll, we've got we've got ideas going on, so we'll just see. <laughs> but I can't imagine... What are you laughing at? She's always more permanent. She thinks the cameraman is cute or something. I was going to write on her legs, and she said it's permanent, and she said she was going to write something very rude on my forehead, and the camera caught her. Wait. Oh. And you know what? She has done that to me before. She wrote something very obscene here, and it wouldn't come off for days of scrubbing it. I think it's so cute that you describe it like that. Soon to be Mrs. Beckham. <laughs> so are you going to change your name? Yeah, I am. Oh, isn't oh. that cool? Yeah. It's only because she doesn't like Adams. That's why. <laughs> Adams is a great name. Well, you Halliwell. the Adams family. Halliwell first. says Adams isn't a great name. Now, don't start name. arguing hey. now. Come on, it's been nice all day. You good at the power meetings? She is. I quite enjoy it. I make sure that she sat with some Pepsi and some Walkers. And yeah, she's yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. Keep them all happy. Sadly, I would like to confirm that I have left the Spice Girls. This is because of differences between us. I'm sure the group will continue to be successful, and I wish them all the best. At what point did you think there's something wrong here? One of us isn't happy. When Jerry left, it was a complete shock to all of us. I mean, we had no idea. I mean, as far as we were all concerned, everything was fine. You know, obviously there's arguments that go on, but it had never run as smoothly as it had for the last, I'd say, six or seven months. Mm -hmm. We were all very happy. There was no tension within the band. And I think, you know, for us, we were totally, totally shocked. And all we could say is, you know, we wish you luck. As a close-knit group, you must have, like, a sixth sense. Yeah. You know, did, yeah. you know, did one of you not say to the others, I really don't think she's happy, I don't think this... No, you just... No idea at all. Was there a chance that she could have stayed, that you could have talked her back into staying? Because I think the, she I mean, made did, her mind did, up. Because the, there was this mysterious stomach bug that came out of nowhere, and was that just trying to buy time? <laughs> but, you know... Uh... No, I mean, I think the truth is, is that for so long, everybody's been saying to us, you know, God, you've been doing so much work, are you actually tired? And at the time, we actually... That. Yeah, we were exhausted. She was tired. She she was poorly, and that is genuinely what we you know. Thought. What what we thought. A lot of the press has suggested that Jerry was the one that got rid of Simon. Is that something you regret now? No. I think because you know Jerry spoke up a lot a lot of the time. That everybody says you know she was a new person that was managing us, and I mean you know we've all got strengths in different areas, and if you like, we manage each other in different areas, which is why you know I mean we're really happy now, and it is working well, and we don't regret anything. She so has some really good chats. Yeah. She's very honest. I do really miss her. Already? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. only been two weeks. Yeah. You know, she's made it quite clear that she's ready to move on and, you know, she's not going to be back with us, though. We were very surprised. There was never any tension before it happened. Did you see yeah. any unhappiness she, she just wanted to her? move on. No, I think she just, you know, there was other things she wanted to do, so she's moved on. And, you know, individually, individually and as a band, we just support her in whatever she wants to do. 
Does your, uh, do your mothers tell you sometimes that they should have kept the, their platform shoes, like in fashion, everything is in, in, in cycles? Jerry, my, mom mom fashion. Fashion. my mom used to say that she'd like to give Jerry a lot of her clothes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because Jerry used to wear a lot of, you know, 60s tights. Since uh, Jerry has left uh, the band, has it been very complicated to uh, rearrange the songs? I think that, and, you know, uh, we had literally two hours um, to redo the show when Jerry two hours. actually left. And, you know, I mean, basically, we re the bits that Jerry had sung. We restaged it. So, I mean, it wasn't, you know, particularly hard. Obviously, it's been a lot of work, you know, all around the art and the dancers that were just so... So... Yeah. You know, everybody says that, you know, we're still getting on with Jerry. And, I mean, we still talk. We're all still friends. And, you know, whatever she wants to do, we wish her luck in. And we're sure she'll do great. But, we, you know, we still get on well with her. And we do still speak. Jerry just decided it was time for her to move on. You know, she's got lots of other things that she wants to do. Um, you know, but us four are still happy working as a band. So, you know, she's just gone on and done her own thing. And we wish her luck. But the thing is, because you all get on together so well, and I've known that for years and years, how... You must have known a while ago that there was that she wasn't not really. too no she really? just wanted to move on no so. she just wanted to go on she I think. Did? it wasn't a whole big thing of where she's unhappy where it was nothing like that it was just that she felt you know jerry's very you know spontaneous yeah and she just went to do her own little thing but i want to know what did she say when she said that the you know on that day funny enough she didn't <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry was good at standing up and talking, so that's what she used to do. And a lot of people thought that that meant that, you know, she was the one who kind of cracked the whip, if you like. And so what do you think you're going to be doing this time next year? Well, sitting on a beach. I'm going to be getting ready for a wedding. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It'll be about that time, won't it? Yeah. About that time. I can't wait for that. Is Jerry going to come? Yeah, she probably will. Yeah. <laughs> yes, she will. Like a little boy. He's fascinated with you, isn't he? What sort of weird moments on the tour? Just odd. Anything you can talk about? Oh, there was a pigeon once that flew on stage that wouldn't leave. Which is a bird. There was a pigeon is a bird. bird. Funny, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, but they did, you didn't know that here. Americans don't call them pigeons. Yes, we call them pigeons. What do you think we call them? Well, because I told somebody about that and they went, pigeon? What's <laughs> that? <laughs> One other funny thing happened, actually. One of us left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she was a good laugh. She was. She was very good to talk to. I think it's stronger vocally with just the four of us. I think also we're happier. You know, we're, we're, I wouldn't say happier, but we are really happy as a four-piece. Yes. There's always much more room on a couch. Yeah. Worst moment was probably what? Was it the day that, you know... Ginger left? Yeah. No, not really. No, that wasn't... Right. Worth <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't... Was that the, was that the no. best moment? <laughs> No, you know, I mean, she just, Jerry thought it was time to move on and, like, we support her. But, I mean, we've, we're happy as a four-piece. Okay. So are you going to go to um, Poshy's wedding? I haven't been invited, but, you know, I know everyone more likes to sensationalise everything. And do you know what it is, um, to be fair, is I think it's not, you know, one, everybody needs a little bit of time and space. Because mm -hmm. I personally need to, the reason why, I've always sent them good wishes and all of that. Mm -hmm. But you need time to, to, for the present to sort yourself out oh, yeah, before you totally. address the past. Totally. And I don't think it's a pri it's because I'm like an ex lover turning up going you mm. you know you know, that needs to be so much more private yeah you definitely. know and get a bit more water on the bridge and i'm i'm sure it's gonna be fine mm -hmm. you know we had such a connection um jerry what's your relationship with the other spice girls like now do you see them much and are you going to the victoria david's wedding okay i haven't been invited to the wedding Absolutely and about that. Ooh. you know of course you know I, I don't really want to comment on what i feel about it but i think it's just like an ex-lover you know, I fell in love with those girls, and I and there's a difference between in love and love. I still love them, but I'm but I'm not in love with them. And you know, when you break up with an ex with a lover, it was an affair. You need a little bit of time to get over it. And so, and I'm just giving that space and time. You know, I'll always have a, you know a special place in my heart for those girls. I wouldn't be sitting here without them, and I'm never going to forget that. We sit, saw some fantastic things together. So, and I, I, you know, I want to focus on that. It was a brilliant moment in time, but I think everything has its moment. So, you seen them at all? No, I haven't seen them. I saw, no, I saw Posh once, and that was it. Saying that you will not be at the marriage of Victoria and, uh -huh. and Beckham, and the reason I would like to understand why exactly. Well, I haven't been invited. So I yes, can't I know, but it's still, It'd it's be still. like an ex-lover turning <laughs> up, wouldn't it? I, you know. You didn't go to the marriage. I wasn't invited, no. but. I, 
quite understand. Can you imagine if me turning out going, you, you know, I haven't seen him for a while. It's the wrong time, you know, so. So are you able, you know, to have some sort of privacy, privacy in England? Because like, if you see Posh, you know, with this David Beckham guy, we, we even know him here because he's a famous football player. Yeah. You know, they don't have any moment of privacy. If that yeah, but I think you choose, you know, your privacy. You know, if you, if you put yourself on OK magazine and things like that, then you're inviting people to come in, you know. Um, do, you, do you know, um, can I tell you a secret that you probably don't know? What's that? You were Jerry's favourite. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, she said she really... I wasn't even going to mention that. I was just hoping you weren't going to ask my phone number. Oh, yes, of course! <laughs> oh, no, I forgot oh, about that bit. Well, no, you were Jerry's favourite. She liked right. you a lot. She liked the others. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but she liked you a lot. She thought right. you were always very nice to her. So I, I want you to know that from Right. Me. Okay? Do you think that the Jerry and Chris Evans relationship was real or just a PR stunt? I, I've heard that it was real from people, but I mean, you, you know, you don't know. Have you been invaded with the uh, Victoria Adams win? I wasn't invited, I have to say, but I do, you know, it's just one of those things I don't think it was appropriate to invite me because we hadn't seen each other and it wasn't the right place to have a reunion. I mean, when we got up there and we said, you know, this is for Jerry, Jerry was there at the start and if it wasn't her, we wouldn't have been up there receiving this award and we did say a big thank you to her. She's doing her thing, we're carrying on doing our thing, we're happy as a small piece. And I think, well, I want to go to the party now. We all have something in common still, you know, we're all still great friends in a group, whereas, you know, she's off doing her own thing. Yeah. Personally, if I was her, I'd be gutted, <laughs> because it's such a great album, we're getting on so well. I think as a band, we're happier um, and stronger than we ever have been. Jerry Definitely wanted to move on, and she's doing her own thing. Now, more than ever, feels more equal. You know, mm. we're all we're all getting yes, a chance to do yeah, everything. We're sure. all getting a chance to yeah. to speak up about what we believe in. You know, so, so I'd say so it's a lot more struggles. No, it's it's a lot more relaxed, and yeah. I'd say that we're all. I mean, personally speaking, a lot happier. I mean, we're really having good fun with this album. As a four piece now, you know, there's, there's nothing or anything holding us back. We can really vocally do so much more choreography wise. How do you get on with Jerry, all right? I don't speak to Jerry You don't anymore. see Jerry anymore, no? No, I mean, when Jerry decided to leave, she decided she wanted to do her own thing. Yeah. And it was her choice to completely, you know... To make the... I can to, understand to that. Make, to make the break. Yeah. And it's that, a shame that I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a picket fence person. I like everyone to get on, but you don't see yeah. each other. But if, no. you came, if she came in now, and she's not going to... Oh, you haven't done that, no, no, have you? No, no. <laughs> no, I haven't. You did no. that to me the other day. I did. I introduced her to Naomi Campbell, who was suing her. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, very embarrassed, but, you know, <laughs> far from me to bring in Jerry Hallowell now. Okay. Or, uh, oh, or even so. Westlife, right? No, no. I never know not, what you're going to do. No, I was very, very upset because as much as he's telling me this is not true, I swear on our unborn baby's life this is not true, I am still reading he had a huge erection as he stood up and walked away from where we'd been rolling about for the last three hours. And I'm reading this seven months pregnant, and David is saying, yes, but I don't even know who this person is. All the other girls phoned me and were really, really supportive, but Jerry knew me very well as well, and she knew how that would have made me feel. We'd had dinner in Saint-Tropez, um, so it wasn't as if I hadn't spoken to her for a long time. And I was very, very surprised that she didn't call. And when she didn't call, in my mind, that's where I kind of said, OK, well, that's that, you know, because I would have called her. He was firing questions at me really, really quickly about Alex Ferguson and Jerry. And I just answered in a very tongue-in-cheek way. And as soon as I'd said it, I just thought, it. They promised me that they would take it out of the show, but, surprise, surprise, somebody leaked it to the press. I know, I shouldn't have said about the phone with Jerry and Alex. <laughs> but it was very good. How do you feel about Jerry Halliwell now? Um, I think Jerry's doing really well. I mean, obviously, she's had you know, a lot of success with her records. Um, she seems to be doing well. I'm just, you know, like with all the girls, I'm just really proud of them all individually. You're all doing really well. Are you still friends with Jerry then? No, I don't speak to Jerry anymore. Oh, right. You know, but she's really busy and I'm really busy, but I'm, I'm still very proud of her and she's doing well. Were you really upset when she left? Um, yeah, I think we all were, you know, surprised more than anything. Yeah. But, you know, she thought it was the best thing to do and she's doing well.
Are you, you are you still friends with Jerry Hallowell? I haven't seen Jerry for a long, long time. I mean, again, there's been so much speculation in the press, you know. Are we getting on? Aren't we getting on? How apparently we turn up for road shows and we don't want to be anywhere near each other. And as far as I'm concerned, I can't speak on behalf of Jerry, but as far as I'm concerned, that's really not an issue at all. I think sometimes the press like to create this whole battle and someone's got a problem with someone and it, well, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's never the case. If I was to see Jerry, then, you know, it'd be nice to see her and say hi and have a chat. So I don't have a problem with her at all. But she's doing her own thing, and it was her decision to kind of back off, if you like. So, that, yeah, I have to respect her for that. But if I saw her, then I'd definitely be friendly. I don't have a problem at all with her. I got a phone call to say that Jerry had left the band. And, you know, we need to have a meeting about it. I said, you know, in actual fact, I can't have a meeting about it today. My sister's just had a baby. This is actually more important. I have to see my sister. And it was on a Wednesday, and they were supposed to be on the lottery that Wednesday evening. And I can remember the first thing that Victoria said to Louise when we got there. She said, get your ass out of bed, you've got ginger hair, you can go on stage with us tonight. I was very surprised. I mean, there was no big argument like everybody likes to think there was. Um, she just obviously wanted out. I actually think that she probably regrets the timing. She doesn't know our children. You know, it must be very lonely for her. She must be very, very lonely. Jerry, out of all the girls, is probably the only one that I really still speak to. Um, I don't not speak to any of them, but, you know, Jerry will ring me for a chat. But was that, have you been friendly with Jerry? Is that a recent thing again, or is that since the reunion that you all had? Just before the reunion, I had lunch with Jerry because I was thinking, you know, I always got on very, very well with Jerry. So I invited her over for lunch and she came with her sister, Natalie, who's very sweet. And, you know, it was just nice and relaxing. And it was after that lunch that I thought, I'm going to get all the Spice Girls together, you know, just to laugh about the things that we've done. You know, it's, it seems ludicrous that we did so much. Um, and, you know, we all say we're all still friends, but, you know, we don't, we don't see each other. I haven't seen any of the girls since that lunch that we had. But, you know, when they all came around my house, it was really good fun. You know, we probably looked like five lunatics, but we had our album on um, and we were having dinner and just laughing at the end of the day. I, I'd honestly say, if people said, what do I enjoy doing the most, I'd say we'd be laughing. Uh, so I went to um, David's birthday party the next day. I just showed up at the lunch, uh, after lunch because I had another birthday at lunch, which I, you know, I'd said I'd go to. And, um, and that was really nice, really nice. And I thought, what do you buy David for his birthday? He's got everything. And I, I gave him, I said, look, this is something that money can't buy. And I gave him a hat, the Chelsea hat. And he goes, oh, I can't wear that. And I said, the thing is, I'm sort of on a mission to get them to move to Chelsea because I think it'll be the best because then Victoria will be in London. She can have a social life. She, you know, I'll get a girl pal from her. So for selfish reasons, I think it'll be good. And then, you know, I'll go to matches with her so she feels supported. Do you know what I mean? And then, you know, then Victoria and David can be together in London. The real problem solved. I see, I try and sort of stay, in, I've made more of an effort now. I sort of really value her. I really value Victoria because who have I got that understands what I go through? And the same with her, with me, do you know what I mean? She's pro very few people that I've got in this world that know. Do you know what I mean? She's right, I'm sure she probably appreciates it. Yeah, well. I love her as well, and I just feel like she gets a really bad rap. And actually, she's a sweet girl. So she didn't seem to be really affected by everything. She was well. happy. She was happy. But I wouldn't go on to, like, I wouldn't tell you yeah, no. intimately, not on, or on camera, I wouldn't. Yeah. I think that's not very nice. That's it. Because I, I feel like so many people, it's, the only thing I want to do is support them. There's so many people that want to knock them down. I just think that couple, what they need is people behind them rather than, it's like all marriages. And that's what I, I love about, the, you know, Victoria and David's marriage is that, you know, I think it, what it 
you know, I, I saw it from the beginning that, you know, it represented, like, true love. I saw that, that it was, if they, even if they weren't, you know, who they were, as a mechanic and a barmaid, they'd still be attracted to each other. And they, and, and they just, I always saw a couple that loved each other. Okay, uh, but you only keep really in touch with Victoria, don't you? That's right. Okay. You've got a beautiful picture of her backstage. She was very nice. I had on the show. I think she's a very lovely woman. She's lovely. She's funny. Uh, kick in there, didn't you I? Did. I, I did. That was so stressful. <laughs> 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 Will you not be recommending Terry to your celebrity friends as a driver? Yeah, maybe I could lend you to Victoria and David or there Elton. There you go. <laughs> I would be, Terry would be perfect for them. <laughs> <laughs> he would have a field day. Right here, buddy. Come on, bro. There you go. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Clear it out. Clear it out, guys. Clear it out. Hey, clear it out. Clear it out. Victoria, see you playing. Victoria, behind you, please. Victoria, behind you, please. Over your shoulder, Victoria. Right behind you, please. Over your shoulder. The winner of the Box Best Video Award is, thank you, God, the Spice Girls for Stay Your Green. We're nearly falling out tonight. I had this other dress that I wore to pick up the award. It was like a sequin dress. Because I was quite, like, clumsy, and I think, like, my boob fell out. You know, it caused not the kind of press I suppose you want. I don't think that Jerry would ever have done anything like have one of her boobs out to get attention. I, I don't... But if you had a Spice record, a Spice Girls record out and say boys haven't had a new record out in the same week, you'd go for it, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I wouldn't go to the sun dressed as a schoolgirl with my... Unlike me. ...boobs out. And... I mean, I think at this time, the media were jumping on anything. You know, and if one of us did have a low plunge top, I think that they would pick up on that. Oh, God. Topless pictures of me had come out. Hideous. It was not good then. We were selling records to children and teenagers and adults, but children were, were the main ones buying our records at one time. And I think we were all a bit concerned that that might affect our fan base. So I think it probably did cause a little bit of friction. I look at it now completely differently to how I, d to how I did then. But, you know, I think we, we, over, we overcome that. We never said, don't forget, we never said we're perfect. Never. And everybody has some sort of past. My mummy's my best friend. I thought it sure did really well in it. Um, I thought I was really crap in it, actually. I was standing next to um, Victoria and the screen was going up. I mean, I was going to look at her, she's looking at me and I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm scared. She goes, I'm like... She goes, oh, don't worry, they've only come here to see your big hair and your big boobs anyway, <laughs> if you're going bald. We were in this house in France and um, I was in the, the, um, the laundry room with Victoria and I looked at her and she looked at me and we just thought, we've got to get rid of him. There was some, you know, we just felt cross, cross like he, he was not allowed in the gang anymore. I think we actually thought that she'd left. It was never the same when she left. And other members might say, oh, it was great, we could do more complicated dance moves, we could sing more. There's nothing I even hold us back. We can really vocally do so much more, choreography-wise. It's like, that's not what we were about. We were about a vibe. We was about five girls. I think we're all just happy to be back together and think out of all the girls, it's myself and Jerry who probably appreciate being in the group more than anybody. Not because of the music, but literally just on a personal level, about having our friends around us. I cannot tell you how excited, how proud and joyful I felt to see those girls together. <laughs> Jerry had a christening for her baby, Bluebell, and I'm godmother and so is Emma. We were all there except for Melanie B, and we had a laugh. And then literally the day after, it was myself, 
Jerry and Emma that started just talking about it and wouldn't it be fun? We should think about getting back together. It's a bit like, supposing you've ever got divorced and you've fallen in love what? with your ex-husband again. Jerry, That's how it feels like to me. Jerry, right. OK. That's great. We love she just, she just appreciates the fact we've let her back in. Nicola, Nicola leaving naughty. Let's pop it here and just punish you. <laughs> Today's your first day hanging out together yes. as a group? Yeah. As a group, yeah, but we've all hung out here. Any arguments yet in the class? No. No. Wait, not yet. Wait, 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 it's probably only about four o'clock in the afternoon, so there's a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> and for someone to leave, but we've got her chained. <laughs> she's chained to her chair, so she can't go again. Are you sure she's going to leave? Well, well uh, she's ginger and Jerry's in the middle. <laughs> My costume's not ready yet. I have to go on. Hi. My this costume's not ready yet, so I decided to just wear my casual well, clothes. We're going to put her in the oven <laughs> and grill you. What do you mean? Because it's kind of like... It's I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've just run the marathon. But, oh, that's what it and is. And I refused to put one of those horrible, kind yeah. of plasticky, silvery kind of coats on, so I designed one myself. I've been working so hard. And it's full on, isn't it? But also, for us as well, you know, we go home and we have families as well. You know, I've, my husband's been away for months. I go home and I have three kids to, to look after. I'm up. I was up at five o'clock this morning sorting everything out. So then I'm ready for when I've got to take the kids to school. And Vic, um, a bluebell caught chicken pox off crew. She's oh, now all had the she's completely pox. pelted this morning. So I left it at home. Normally they're running around the set. Because we're just working mothers basically. I feel overwhelmed emotionally that it's actually happening. You know, ten years later that I'm actually on the stage with my four bandmates. Yeah! I mean, that makes me want to cry, actually, thinking about it. Yeah. Although, yeah. A, a counter to that, I remember when I was a little kid, playing, when the radio was playing, I pressed record on my blank tape, so I was downloading. Yes, well, you were breaking the law. So Get out! Oh, it's just moving yeah, on Yeah, I did that too. Way. So I don't resent it. You should admit it. to that. You should <laughs> I don't resent it. We're sending her out again. I did it. Yeah, but... I did it. I just put my hands up. I did it. I'm sorry. I don't, you know, it's one of those things. Go. Go. You need it. You can't do it. Quick. I'm taking you with me. This is for Let's do a duet like Dollar. I've got a new spice name for you, actually. Not so big now, Spice. No, they're not. No, they're, we've taken not over. Okay. I had a baby that basically <laughs> she sucked the life out of her. Now than it did ten years ago. I think we appreciate yeah, it. We, we yeah. appreciate it more. Yeah. And we realise, like Jerry said, nothing lasts forever. Yeah. And how fortunate we are. Just before we go on, me and Jerry last night looked at each other and we said, We're Spice Girls. I love Funny! <laughs> 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 uh, you know, for me, like I said, all the I other girls are great. still <laughs> in the music industry. I'm not. This is about Spice Girls all together for me. It's not about, you know, I don't I don't have a solo career, so mine is fashion and, and it's, it's fun. Pretty cool that you can walk down, just walk not even and make it anything. Don't do anything and people scream. Yeah. It was brilliant. Okay, Miss Victoria, I'm going to give you a crash course in German. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you your first word is Hallo, wie geht es dir? Hallo, wie geht es dir? Ich bin Victoria. Ich heiße Victoria. Oh. I ich heiße Victoria. What does ich bin mean? Uh, I am, but it's, but oh. it's more grammatical. Oh, okay. I say I am, I'm called Victoria. Okay, in case you didn't know that, she's called Victoria. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to ask you how you are. And then you're going to say, I'm going to say, be good to steer. And then you're going to say, good. that's it, very good, she's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good at yeah. <laughs> being very intelligent. Yeah. Yeah, sehr, sehr intelligent. I don't even know if that is German. It is. Intelligent. Yes, it is. That sounds like it's Spanish. It is. And there's another one. You know how you say you're stupid in German? Du bist sehr dumm. 
Okay, that's let's, true. Yeah, that's it. Okay, what else do you want to know? Um, bra. Bra is the thing. Wustenhalter. It is. That is very, very useful. Yes. So you, we could call someone a very dumb bra. Du bist ein dumm Wustenhalter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I'm going to say, where do you get to the marketplace? Okay. Okay. Wie komme? Wie komme? Ich am besten zum Marktplatz zu buy her shopping. There you go. We're good, aren't we? I will, I'll tell you who I probably would marry or kiss. Now then, I'm going to pass up a plate. Well, yeah. <laughs> Which one would you... None, there's none. Which one would you marry? I think I'd probably marry Emma. Which one would you kiss? Um, Emma or Victoria. Which one would you cliff? When you all started off um, as a Spice Girls, yeah, yeah, living together, who did they cook it? Everyone used to eat their own thing. I remember Victoria eating lots of Frosties. <laughs> Serious. <gasps> what about the, the, the other Spice Girls? Because you, you were yeah. really great friends and then you left and there was a bit Do of you tension. you know what, actually, I would say Victoria and I have, you know, I know the press love to speculate they that we fight, mm. but actually I would say she is my, one of my closest allies. Do you know what I mean? We have very, very strong connection. I think I'm just a lot more compassionate to other people as well. Before, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, so interested in, you know, other children. But now I see the value of children. They Isn't she good friends with one of Victoria's little they, boys? They did. And when we were on tour, mm. they do play dates together with crews. But actually, he's I, gorgeous. He's so gorgeous. And Romeo is just so gentle. The other Spice Girls, so have they looked at them? I mean, are they interested? I have actually sent them to Victoria, yeah. and I think uh, I think Romeo reads. Yeah. So he's Not. reading Eugenia Lavender. Yeah, You're I think into they're, the for flowers, they're for boys and girls. Last Wednesday, uh, yeah. you and the girls all got back together. We um, did. Victoria wasn't there, which has obviously sparked all rumours where everybody's going. I know. I was going... texting her at the same time. Like whenever we get together, I have to say the, when one's missing, it always feels like she's missing out. You can't cope with it. It's quite funny. Well, you know that everyone else is going to be looking and going, yeah, of course. oh, now we No, no I was texting her and we missed her. So it's, it's really fun. When but we also, get to it. I, uh, I always refer to um, Victoria, which is quite nice. She, you know, you'd either, she'd get this kind of very black or white feeling, either absolute adoration or not. Mm. She knows that she's like Marmite. Um, you love her or hate her? Yeah. Which do you do? I absolutely love her. <laughs> the girl that I know has got absolutely nothing to do with what I see in the media. She's... But at the moment, she's not even in your top three Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> That's talking about the, the, the image. And Victoria had a fantastic business sense. I have to say, I loved being, being a band with her because no one was ever going to rip us off with Victoria in the band. Mm. She was so good at it. Yeah, I didn't say I was leaving. I just said I'm not coming. The next day, I said I'm not coming back. 
Um, How did they react? Do you know who I absolutely love the reaction the best was Victoria? Because she rang, the, she rang me and went, what the <laughs> like a proper good <laughs> sister would. What did she say? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> she properly got on the phone and tried to pull me back in. So my, I've always made my own clothes. Well, Victoria's managed to sort of yeah. weave that uh, yeah. sort of her she future as well, so, isn't yeah, it? It's, yeah, it's, very it? it's really natural. Have you, have you spoken to her much? You, how much are you guys in, in contact? Because were you two always the closest in, Do you in, know, in the she's band? like, I would say, if, it, if we're a family, she, we're like the parents. Our mummy, she's daddy. You know, we're really <laughs> strong, the two of us together. You know, I can talk to her about anything. And you know what I love about her? That she, even if she's got a busy life, you know, th she's got three children, um, you know, a business and all that. She always remembers to say, you know, a good luck or, you mm. know, very supportive. And I really appreciate mm. that. Yeah. You're clearly all completely buzzing. Um, you've gone on to have huge <laughs> Yeah, come on. Come on. Oh, you're you're buzzing, on. Victoria. Yes, yes. Buzzing, yeah. Yeah. Victoria's definitely buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> You've all gone on to have hugely successful careers in your own right. And then there was Jerry, who, bless her, was nuts. <laughs> I mean, completely nuts. Why has Victoria Beckham said she is glad to be back in London? I hate her. Holly's team. Jerry, so she can be close to me. <laughs> no, the actual answer is um, because people now like her. Did they hate her before? I thought they always liked her. <laughs> oh, look at Jerry's face! <laughs> Five of us have always had this thing where we support each other on and off the stage. And, you know, we, we did speak to her and, and meet up with her. And we said, look, you're in the band on and off the stage. Mm. It doesn't matter. And she was just really supportive. And even in life, you get to a point where, every, you know, you can't... You, we want everyone to be happy and feel comfortable and things change. And she was just really positive and it was yeah. lovely. I spoke to her two <laughs> days ago, yeah. like before the announcement. And she just said, look, you know that... You know, I've, she said it for years that she just doesn't want to do it yeah. anymore. But, but, oh, but having either. said that, I think you should still have offered her the opportunity. No, no, no. We did. No, the, the, well, no, the day at your, at your house, we did. Yeah, she didn't want to do we it. We had the picture. She said, I do not. Yeah, she just okay, and what reason did she give? She was busy with her fashion, you yeah. know, and that she had, she's moved on. Which is a huge thing, of course. Yeah. Now. It's like yeah. A yeah. Way. But you know what? The good, you know, we the philosophy of this, for us lot is that, you know, we're a band on and off the stage yeah. and we care about each other we support each other and we support her you know and she's been a huge part of our life and we care about her so it's all good and i think didn't you say that she didn't enjoy the performance part as much yeah. as much she didn't really want to be back on stage Is no that right? and you don't want to make somebody do something they don't want to do blonde or ginger ginger oh, come on posh or baby baby scary or sporty both i can't answer these questions well you did with posh and baby quite quickly didn't you <laughs> No, I think that's Jerry. How did you guess? Jerry always wore quite a strong lip. This is this is an iconic image all round. Isn't this when Jerry did a bit of smooching? <laughs> I think she might have, didn't she like pinch his bottom or something really the inappropriate? Oh, we can see the lipstick on it. It's one that you have said is a mid-tone ginger, I mean I have to ask. Mm -hmm. Jerry? Is this made for Jerry? I would be honoured if if Jerry liked the lipstick. I